Hello friends, Melissa Steele here with Steele San Diego Homes. I am at our own construction project today to teach you a little bit about sewer lines and what you are looking for when it comes to replacing a sewer. So with a lot of our clients, we actually do something called sewer scoping, which is where they will put a camera down the sewer line. They'll either replace the toilet or put it through the roof vent and or uh, remove the toilet to put it in the sewer hole or they will um, put it through the roof vent and they'll put this little camera down and they'll actually scope and videotape what your sewer looks like to the street. I joke with clients that it's like a colonoscopy for your house and it looks as grody too. Believe me, it's not attractive, usually full of cockroaches. When you're scoping a sewer, it's typically in an older home or a property that may have um, indication of some plumbing issues. So I'm not gonna lie, it's not a very pretty sight. But once you do a sewer scope, the sewer company is able to, or the plumbing company is able to evaluate the condition of the piping. And I'm going to show you here in San Diego, cast iron plumbing was very, very common. Um, and a lot of this piping lasts, the life is about 30 years, 50 if you're lucky. And our house was built in 1942. So right off the bat, when we were Grow. When we were in escrow on this property, right off the bat, I knew that we were going to do a sewer scope because the seller had not replaced the sewer line. She'd owned the property for many, many years. And ultimately, I knew that if she hadn't done it, it was probably original, which realistically means we're in 2019. This is an 80 year sewer line, right? From, from build time. So that being said, we scoped it. It did not have a lot of integrity. It had a lot of sitting water, which causes the cast iron to continue to rot and rust. And overall, we knew it had to be replaced. It was no question. We actually were able to negotiate a credit from the seller for the sewer. So John and I in escrow received a $12,000 credit back from the seller to cover our sewer cost because we're expert negotiators and we do the same thing for our clients. But we knew that and we haven't done the project because we wanted to do it when we were doing everything else with this construction project. So fast forward to almost two years since we bought this property and here is our old piping and here is the new piping that the guys are going to be installing. We um, often work with Plumbing Tree. They're one of our go-to plumbing companies. They're really amazing at what they do. I personally love working with them because Plumbing Tree, from my experience, is very no BS as we are. So they really tell it like it is. They share with us what's coming up and they help us to figure out the best solution. So these guys have been kind of brainstorming with us. They were the ones that we originally called when we bought this house. So we've been brainstorming with them for quite some time about this project. But most recently, we just started it less than a week ago. So the initial plan was to dig a trench and to trench out the whole line for a full replacement. And then um, we decided that we were gonna take an, a different approach where because the pipe was so, um, there was like not much integrity to the pipe, it was like disintegrating, they decided they were gonna do like a pipe bursting method where they insert the new pipe and burst the old one. So. Um, they were, that was plan B. Yesterday they ran into an issue. They found out that the neighbor's sewer line connects to ours. So if we were to burst our sewer line, it would effectively <laughs> put them out of commission and really um, put them in a tough position in terms of like using their sewer line and everything. So now we're on to plan, I don't know if it's like C or D at the point, but the guys have been busy out here since this morning trenching because now we're back to a plan where we're trenching. Originally they were worried about trenching because we've got gas lines in here and they didn't want to create any extra damage, but now they're trenching because realistically we need to replace the full extent of the pipe. Um, it's turning into a much more difficult project than I think anyone anticipated, unfortunately. But the guys are over here hard at work doing their thing and really what is encouraging and really um, you know, I hope inspires you guys is when you experience issues like this, it's not a matter of like, oh no, like we can't do it. It's just a matter of how. We knew this sewer needed to be replaced. Um, it was really important to us that it was gonna be replaced because now we're gonna have multiple units on, you know, uh, a sewer line that didn't have good integrity. So ultimately it's a matter of how, how do we solve this problem? And Plumbing Tree has been amazing to work with, not only with tons of clients, 
um, but here on our own personal house as well. You know the company's good when the realtor calls them. <laughs> so they're over here doing their thing. Um, but ultimately, today is a day that I have not been looking forward to, you guys. I have not had a toilet all day. I feel like the fact that I'm not, that I don't have a toilet is giving me anxiety and making me feel like I need to go to the bathroom in general. So that's not great. <laughs> but hey, it's coming along. And um, I'm just happy it's getting done and that these guys are over here hard at work and that we've got the pros on the property working on the sewer lines. So if you guys are experiencing some plumbing issues or maybe some backups you've experienced in your home, it may be an indication that you get to have a sewer scope and figure out if you might be experiencing sewer issues yourself. So um, sewer scopes are not too costly. They're usually about two to $250, depending on the company and depending on where they need to scope from. For example, it's much easier to scope through the roof vent than having to remove a toilet and fully having to scope that way. So um, a sewer scope is usually, I tell clients, while it's like the colonoscopy for your house, that $250 is often well worth it. We've done sewer inspections where a client has found out that the sewer replacement would have been like $40,000 because it's 12 feet deep or it connects to the city weird. So ultimately we knew that ours was going to be very costly. This project is going to be um, probably about if not over $10,000. So that's why we had negotiated the credit in escrow to be able to help us to pay for this at the time of construction. And when you partner with a great real estate agent, those are things that your real estate agent should really be guiding you through. They should be um, teaching you because as a normal person off the streets, you're not like, oh yeah, I'm ready for my home inspection and my sewer scope. Most people don't know that. Most people don't know to do a sewer scope depending on the age of their home. So if you guys need any guidance on that or are looking for your next home and are curious about the inspections that you need, definitely hit up the steel team. We would love to help you out. Best number to reach us, 619-887-4429. And you can always read about things like this on our blog, steelsandiegohomes.com. And I'm actually going to catch the guys are going under. <laughs> so all day they've also been working on replacing the old cast iron that's underneath the sinks and the dishwasher and all that stuff. They've been working on replacing that with ABS plumbing as well underneath the home. So these guys are just absolutely crushing it. Hope you don't mind them filming you guys, but hopefully I'll bring you a lot of new clients. <laughs> so yeah, they're doing their thing under there and they're crushing it. Great job. Thanks team. Hit us up if you need any guidance, you guys. Hope you're having a great Friday.